Hey guys, welcome to our 4-6 notes. Um, in our classroom, we have the steps to solving a problem posted, and I've listed those steps here to the right of your screen um, when you're solving a, a word problem. And I've told you over and over again that life is going to come to you in words. It's not going to come to you as an equation already written out. So today we're going to practice taking words, following our steps to solving a word problem, and see if we can come up with some algebraic equations. We're going to try to write an equation. That means there should be an equal sign in our translation of each sentence. So the first sentence says, Jackie's mother is 28 years old, which is four times Jackie's age, A. In other words, they want Jackie's age to be represented with an A, minus 8. So our first step is to read. Sometimes I have to read it twice to understand what I'm reading. Then our second step is to select information and defining our variable is going to fall under selecting information. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I know A represents Jackie's age. I got that the first time I read the sentence. Jackie's age. Now I'm going to read that sentence one more time and highlight some very important words. Jackie's mother is 28 years old, which is four times Jackie's age minus eight. And eight would be another number that's important. So I hate to highlight too much, but for sure, I heard the word is, which always represents an equal sign, is 28. Somebody is 28, Jackie's mother. Okay, that is, so that's the same equal sign, is, is, it's the same one, is four times Jackie's age. And we said Jackie's age is represented with A minus eight. So that would be the equation for that sentence. I know, I know, let's practice one more. Five more than twice a number in is negative 25. Okay, they're telling me what they want the variable to be. So N stands for a number. Now let's read it one more time and try to understand what they're asking us to do here. Five more than, I have told you guys over and over, the word than tells you anything that comes after than. After than, what have we said? I hope you can finish, finish this sentence. After the word than, anything after than comes first. Whatever's after than goes first or comes first. So here we go. Five more than, so that's going to go last. Five more than twice a number n is negative 25. Five more than, so whatever comes after the word than, twice the number n goes before the five more. So five more than, twice the number n, it is not as important on our adding problems as it is on our subtraction problems. So let's get in the habit, whenever we hear the word than, whatever comes after than goes first. And that's the equation for that sentence. Rob threw a baseball 84 miles per hour, which is 21 miles per hour less than twice the speed of S that jo Jonah threw. The speed S that Jonah threw it. Okay, so S stands for Jonah's speed. Now let's read that sentence again. Rob threw a baseball 84 miles per hour, which is, so 84 is, what is it? It is 24 less than, so whatever I'm about to read next after than is going to go first, less than twice the speed S. So twice S goes first, and it's 21 less, so less tells me to subtract, 21 less than twice S. And I like to put a little tail on my S. So that is the equation for that sentence. All right. Now let's read the next example. Example two. A baseball bat, oops, so sorry. 
A baseball bat costs $41, which is $9 more than four times the wholesale cost of the bat. Find the bat's wholesale cost. So this is what we're looking for, and this one says to find it. So we're going to actually have to solve this equation. So let's highlight the important words there. Uh, a baseball bat costs $41, which is, there's our equal sign, $9 more than four times the wholesale cost of the bat. So is, 41 is, nine more than, so whatever comes after the word than is going to go in front of nine. It always comes first, more than four times the wholesale cost. Whoops, we failed to say what we're solving for. Let's let W equal our wholesale cost. So four times the wholesale cost, it's nine more than four times. So then it says to actually find the, the wholesale cost. So now we're going to have to do a little two-step equation solving. Subtract 9 and 4w equals 41 minus 9 is 32. Divide both sides by 4. And I'm running out of room, but w equals 8. That's our wholesale cost, $8. All right, the last example I'm going to work with you today is Mrs. Parson. She earns $200 each week plus $25 for each pair of shoes that she sells. How many, they're asking us for a number here, how many pairs of shoes does she need to sell in order to earn $1,000 per week? So we're going to let, I'm going to say P equals pairs of shoes. That's what we're solving for. How many pairs of shoes does she need to sell? Let me read my sentence again so I can make sense of it. She earns $200 each week. Sounds like no matter if she sells or doesn't sell, she's going to make $200 plus, I heard that word, plus $25 for each pair. So every time she sells a pair, which is what we're looking for, she earns $25. This is all dollars. And we want our salary or her earnings to be $1,000 per week. So how many pairs of shoes does she need to sell? So I'm going to do a little two-step and subtract 200 from both sides. And 25P equals 800. And we're going to divide by 25. And she needs to sell 32 pairs of shoes. As I leave you today, I have just a little treat for you guys as we are embarking on our fall break. I want to leave you with the thought that you always have to tackle word problems because that's how life is going to present itself. And then I also have this to say. while you're attempting the six problems on the back. I have to say roll. Have a good day.